Hi, I'm Dr. Atkins. In this video series, I've been going over nasal decongestant sprays such as Afrin and the problems you can get from them such as rebound congestion. Now, the problem is I use Afrin as an example, but there are tons of nasal decongestant sprays being sold over the counter. There's Afrin, 4-Way, Dristand, Equate has a nasal spray, Benzodrex, Zycam, Exlear. I mean, there's tons of them, okay? So patients are often confused. I'll ask them, hey, are you using Afrin or anything like that? Oh, no, I got addicted to that. I'm using 4-Way, like they're making some great improvement. Well, 4-Way works the same as Afrin. So there's a very simple way to figure this out. First of all, are you putting it in your nose, okay? There are nasal decongestants that you take orally. I don't care about those today. If you're putting this in your nose in a spray form, a dropper form, even those little inhalers that you put in the front of your nose and inhale, if it's going in your nose, then you need to pay attention. You go to the box and on the box, it's gonna have on the back, the drug fact. Now the drug facts at the very top, the very first thing, it's going to say active ingredient. You can practically ignore that if you want to but it's gonna say active ingredient, and then it's gonna say purpose. If the purpose says nasal decongestant, so you're putting it in your nose and the purpose is nasal decongestant, then you're at risk for rebound congestion. The more common sprays, if you wanna look at the active ingredients, are oxymetazoline and phenylephrine. There's some other ones that are less common, but it doesn't really matter. I don't have to list all of them. All you really need to understand is, it's going in your nose and the purpose says nasal decongestant, you're at risk for rebound congestion. Now, I have other follow-up videos to this, which explains the two types of patients that can get addicted to Afrin. And again, I use Afrin as a global term. I mean all nasal decongestants. And I have a video that has a protocol on how you can help kick your Afrin addiction. And again, it's not a real addiction like a drug addiction. You don't have physiologic cravings. It's just you start using it so much that you have to use it to keep your nose open. So we refer to it as an addiction. But I have a video about that linked here as well. Hopefully this has been helpful. Remember, it goes in your nose, it's a nasal decongestant, watch out.